All right, so we are here in a in an ultra match, and this is an ultra match. I'm not sure the division. I'll find it out. But in blue, we have Trinity Tong Osborne, and in red, we have Sarah Pry. Trinity Tong was an elite level athlete as a teenager and a young adult athlete, a resident athlete of the Olympic Training Center. Um, and it's great to see her back. She's back in competition with her family. Um, her daughter competed yesterday. So we are, we are excited to see um, athletes go full circle. Go from being world-class athletes as juniors and young adults to back as ultras. Scores 2-2 here in this first round. Blue coach thinks that he might have seen a face kick, so he wants to have the judges come in, take a look at it, have a little quick discussion. And they were correct. They awarded her another face kick, so the score goes five to two for Trinity in blue. 15 seconds left in this round. Trinity scores another right leg roundhouse kick, takes it to 7-2. Under five seconds to go. Oh, and it's 7-4, and that's time. Time, time, time. It's 7-4. Sarah gets a second kick in right at the end of that round. And at the end of round one, uh, Osborne 7, Pride 4. always good to see again our ultras in competition you're never really too old until you decide in your mind that you're just too old but as long as you have the will in your heart you can get out there all right here we go round number two good trinity scores with that right leg roundhouse kick Sarah gets another up ball in there, so it's six to nine. They're getting touches. Both ladies are getting touches. Still six to nine with 25 seconds to go. Trinity scores a right leg cut kicks, takes it up to 11 to six. Sarah covers her face very well. And that's time, the end of round number two. And at the end of round two, it is 11 to six. Tong over pride. I'm looking in the crowd. I'm trying to see. Oh, there we go. I see her daughter. I see there. I, now I see her son. I see her husband. I see the family all there. It's nice to see a whole family able to come and compete. That's what USAT is trying to do. We're trying to create a family experience where everybody can come get some of this work. All right, here we go with the third and final round. Trinity goes for the Nadabon into the, the, the back step into the Nadabon into the hook kick. Falls down, gets a deduction. Sarah slides back. It's a four point game now. Sarah's playing great defense. They have 43 seconds. Good. Gets the Nadabon in, doesn't make contact, a strong enough contact to score. She did make touch. Sarah lifts that right leg over the shoulder. Up her coach, Dennis White, thinks she should have gotten three more points for that. So they're going to pull the judges in, and everybody's going to take a look-see at what they look and see. 21 seconds left in this round.
right? That video challenge, well, that review was denied. And so we have 20 seconds left, still 11-7. Trinity scores a punch, but then takes the spill. That will get Sarah one more point. We still have a four-point differential. Sarah gets a, commits an infraction of lifting that knee. For three, two, one. Oh, Trinity, uh, Trinity scores again, and at the end, we end up with 15 to 8. Great match in our ultra, ultra division. Shout out to both these ladies. Shout out to Sarah Pride. Shout out to Trinity Tong Osborne. Hey, this is Coach Nelson, your Minister of Information, and I'm here with the finalists in the ultra middleweight division. Trinity Tong Osborne, Sarah Pride. Ladies, it was a great match. I came over to watch it because I wanted to make sure our ultras got some love. We show a lot of love to everybody else, but we're not gonna leave our ultras out. Um, so I'll start with you, Sarah. How'd you feel out there? I felt like I was trying to let out all my skills and maybe in the last round I was starting to get there, but it was not soon enough for, for this lady. All right. All right. You, look, you look like you were in it all three rounds. So it, it, pro it would look way better than probably you thought it did. Trinity, how did it feel for you out there? It felt great, sir. I came out here, my daughter wanted to compete, so I said, hey, if you go, I'll go, and um, just want to have fun. That's what I need to do. Just kick, leave it all on the mat, and train for it. So I felt good. Good. I am excited because I remember this young lady when she was an OTC resident athlete and a world-class athlete a long time ago. Then she came to train with us, and we were so honored to have her train with us. So I wanted to come and highlight you guys. Very proud of you, Sarah. I'm watching your progress. You're doing good. You're doing. You're doing good things with all the many things that you're doing with school and work and everything else. You're managing to fit training in. This is Coach Nelson with two fine ladies and champions here with the ultra middleweight division, and we are signing out. USA, USA, Igija. <laughs> I had to take it back there. <laughs>